everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we're going to be talking about the new Paranormal Activity Next of Kin trailer. That is the actual official title of the new Paranormal Activity film. It wasn't just going to be called Paranormal Activity 7. I kind of speculated that months and months ago when I started reporting on this. Very excited to talk about this, though. This is actually like some of the first footage we've seen of the film as well, so we're going to be talking about all that in just a second here, but first I'm going to need you all to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon. The link for that will be in the description below. If you do that before October 8th, you will be considered an executive producer on my new Scream fan film, Red Right Hand, which comes out October 8th, the same day, that, uh, the cutoff point for the executive producer role. So support me at any tier to get that executive producer position. Alrighty, now let's get into it. What's your favorite scary movie? Well, I'm Pennywise, the dancing clown. Oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! Oh, yeah. Yeah, you son of a... <laughs> Don't do that. But sometimes, that is better. So just in case you all don't know, I am now doing trailer reactions over on my TikTok. If you just look up Killjoy Jake on TikTok, that'll come up. You can see my full trailer reaction to the new uh, Paranormal Activity little teaser trailer that came out over on there. I'll be putting little clips of it in this video for you, though, as well. So that was not what I was expecting at all from the new Paranormal Activity movie trailer. Wow, like, this is looking so different from everything else we've seen in the past. Not what I was expecting. Is that even found footage? It looks like this new Paranormal Activity is going to be taking place in a whole new setting, which is a bit, honestly a big plus for me. Like, all of the other films have either taken place in, like, in some cool house in California, like some rich, like, million dollar house, or like some, uh, like, the, uh, the marked ones takes place in, like, those apartment buildings. It's gonna be cool to see a Paranormal Activity movie take place in a new setting. It kinda looks like it's going to be a compound for possibly this, like, creepy cult that we've known only, uh, little things about. Hopefully it delves deeper into that. I wanna learn more about this cult that's centered around the Toby demon. Now, if you remember in Paranormal Activities, the marked ones, there was this character, Allie, who is the same, like, older sister character from Paranormal Activity 2. She comes back very briefly in marked ones and kind of talks about this, like, creep creepy cult and, like, how they're centered around bringing this demon back, like, into the world of the living. Now, she was only briefly in that movie for, like, a single scene, like, kind of, like, giving uh, our main characters information about the cult and stuff. Do you think she could possibly come back for this new movie in, like, some kind of, like, bigger role? There are some main antagonists in, like, the overall story of paranormal activity like of course like Katie has been in like almost every movie so it'd be kind of cool to have like a recurring protagonist like fighting against the cult and like the Toby demon and shit the cast list is out and she's not on it but it would be kind of cool if they brought her back for some stuff I mean I don't know if it's gonna happen or not or if they actually put like that much thought into this new movie I really hope they did like I said Christopher Landon's at least back for this one he wasn't on the last one which is kind of why it sucked I have faith that this one's going to be at least better than Ghost Dimension nothing can be worse than that Fingers crossed, knocking on some wood right now because, ugh, God, and I'm terrified that this film's not gonna be good. Besides the, like, very different setting, I just did not fall in love with anything in this trailer. There's nothing super creepy that, like, got me super excited about this movie. But overall, the big thing I want from the Paranormal Activity franchise at this point is a conclusive ending to this really cool story that I feel like a lot of people overlook. A lot of people don't actually go back and watch all these films in succession. Like, there's a really cool story going on here. It's kind of loosely put together after, like, the, the fourth movie but it's still really cool and I think it's like something that a lot of people feel like I feel like a lot of people just overlook it there's a cool story here and it's totally ruined by Ghost Dimension I'm just really hoping for like one last swan song to kind of like finish up this franchise give us a really good ending opposed to that last fucking movie I also want to see a lot of good scares a lot of good like jump scares and shit like this franchise is obviously famous for that they have a lot of good moments like that in this movie there's already some cool shots in this trailer but nothing like that really stood out the one shot at the end of this trailer that looks like paranormal activity he looks exactly like that scene from Wreck where the girl gets pulled back and it's like the same shot almost. Something is oh there we go. <laughs> There, that's a paranormal activity shot right there. So there's nothing really new in this trailer, which gets me kind of worried that maybe they're just going to be recycling a bunch of old scares from other found footage movies from the past. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. I just talked about VHS 94 in my last video, and like, I love the found footage genre. There's a lot of bad found footage movies, like the majority of them I would say are bad because like anyone can make a found footage film, but the good ones are so good. Like the original paranormal activity. I, honestly, the first three films are phenomenal. I love the record movies for the most part like the first one is obviously the best 
Um, VA, the VHS movies, the first two VHS movies, the Creep movies, there's so many good found footage films out there. But it is also so, so easy to make a bad found footage film. So honestly, this film can go either way. I I'm typically, like, there's never, I haven't really found a found footage film at this point that was in the middle for me. I either love it or hate it. Hell House is another one. I love Hell House. The sequels, though, are absolute garbage. Both of them are, I, are, are unwatchable, unwatchable movies. That first one, though? pretty solid. I'm just really praying for one more good Paranormal Activity movie. That's all I want! Just one more! Just one good, more good movie. So far, I have, like, very mixed feelings about it. There was nothing really interesting in that teaser trailer. We at least have Christopher Landon writing this one, which, like, that's why a lot of those sequels were so good, because of how fantastic this man is at making sequels. Look, y'all might not like Happy Death Day to you, but what's so brilliant about that film is how it world builds. Like, look, it's not as good of a movie as that original film. I love Happy Death Day, the first one, but the second one Sure, has like it's a little too comedic at points, but it's written very well. Christopher Landon knows what he's doing with the writing, so I think for sure we're gonna have a well-written script here. I just hope it's like the the scares translate. I hope that's the that's the two big things about these movies that I love so much. They're terrifying, and they also have a really well-written plot overall. Hopefully, we can see that on Paramount Plus on October 29th. We have a release date. We have that the movie is also called Next of Kin. Paranormal Activity Next of Kin. Couldn't tell you what that means, I got nothing there. We don't even have an official plot synopsis of the film yet, so there's really not much to go off of besides this trailer. Hopefully this movie can give us an actually good conclusion to this story instead of fucking Toby's leg running around in Ghost Dimension. What do you guys think about Paranormal Activity Next of Kin? Are you excited for the film or like, not really? I'm pretty nervous myself. Leave me a comment about it down below. Thank you all so much for watching my new update on Paranormal Activity Next of Kin. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Just look up Killjoy Jake, I'll come up. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. Like I said, even a dollar a month gets you that executive producer credit on my new fan film, Red Right Hand. So make sure to check that out. The link is in the description below. Thank you all again for watching, and as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all. Thank you.